Howdy, we ask, and welcome to the Scorpion Weekly News. This is the week of February 14th to the 18th of 2016. My name is Tina, and this is my co-anchor Mariah. First, you have, we have your updates for the week. Today is the Valentine's Day cookie sale. One, one cookie is for 10 dirhams, or two cookies for 15 dirhams. However, no more than two cookies can be bought at once. The timing for KG2 and grade 1 is 11.30 to 12.05. For grades 2 to 5, timing is from 12.25 to 1.10. All students are only allowed to buy cookies during their recess time. KG2 to grade 1, if you're going to buy cookies, please pay your homeroom teacher. Grades 2 to 5, bring money with you to the cookie sale. Sports day for grade 3 to 5 is on Monday. Teams and colors are posted throughout the halls. Sports day for KG2 to grade two is on Wednesday. Grade four is at camp on Devo on Tuesday and Wednesday. There is no school on Thursday. Now let's check with Matt and Nate who are interviewing Miss Leslie about the new Arabic book collection in the library. Hello everyone. Today me and Nate are interviewing Miss Leslie about our new international collection. Miss Leslie, why do you choose to add these books to the library? Well, we are an international school, Universal American School, but we're international school. And so I feel that we should have books in many different languages, not just in English. And especially we should have books in the language of the country that is what you call our host country, which of course that language would be Arabic. Do you think these books would attract students? Absolutely. I think students who are interested in being part of the Sheikh's reading competition would love to know about this Arabic collection, which is right behind me. Do you think these books are for all Arabic readers? I actually do, yes. Most of them are quite easy to read. Here's an example of like a typical one um, from our collection in Arabic. And um, I don't have any that are novels or that are very high reading levels, so I actually do think that they're for all Arabic readers and speakers. Do you think we can expect more languages? That's such a good question. Thank you. Yes, first of all, we can expect a lot more Arabic books as the months go on. We have a lot here, but me and Miss May are getting them ready for the shelf. And that's like library work that it takes a little while to do. So keep watching this hopeful space. But we also have books over here in Spanish, or they're bilingual in Spanish and English. And then over on this side, we have books in French. And I'll kind of fan out what I've got here. Will you hold Conejo for me, Matt? I'll kind of fan out the other books we've got. We also have just a few in Chinese and even one or two in Korean. Look, there's a Mo Willems in Korean and a Splat the Cat in Chinese. And then French, Spanish. So we're going to add more and more languages. And if parents would like to donate books that they have in their native language, we would be happy to catalog them into the library. Thank you, Ms. Leslie, for that wonderful interview. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Matt, Nay, and Ms. Leslie, for that great information about the new Arabic section of the library. Now let's wish a congratulations to this week's classroom shout out. Awesome job to all of the KG1 students for demonstrating the balanced learner profile at their sports day. who are interviewing Elizabeth from 3ER for the Book of the Week. I'm Sophia. And I'm Aisha. And we're interviewing Elizabeth for the Book of the Week. So, Elizabeth, what book are you reading? I'm reading Smile. And it's by Raina Teljimmer. Please give us a short summary of your book. It's about a girl who deals with big problems like her teeth problem. Why have you chosen to nominate this book? Because it's a good book and it teaches you how to deal with some problems. Thank you, Elizabeth, for that book of the week. Now back to the studio. I'm Mariah. 
And I'm Tina. And this is the Scorpion Weekly News.